into the ingredients we have our broth from the previous recipe i am going to use ginger garlic my cajun seasoning and some tomato ketchup as we go along i will give you the measurements so to my pot i'm adding two cups of my broth as i said that recipe is was previously shown i am using one eighth of a cup of my cajun seasoning and two cups of tomato ketchup if you want it to be a little more sweeter you can add some brown sugar or some agave or honey so i'm going to add also one eighth of a cup of freshly grated ginger mix everything and then i'm going to add all of my garlic i am not going to mince this garlic i'm going to leave them whole you can mince your garlic if you so desire add the garlic into the sauce and I'm going to bring it to a boil and once it has come to a boil, I'm going to lower the fire and let that sit in there boiling for a good 10 to 15 minutes. And at this point, I was satisfied. It was just over 12 minutes I left this boiling for. But before we continue... <laughs> So now my sauce has come to room temperature and I'm going to the recipe for how I'm going to use this this barbecue sauce would be in the next upcoming video. As you previously saw, we made a Cajun seasoning and we made a grilled chicken with this. And so look out for this barbecue sauce and I'm also going to make some Cajun fries. Thanks for watching.